villages, yeah. So basically there were two Catholic uh, churches in uh, northern New Mexico <coughs> after the mid-1850s. There was uh, the church that Lamy and the French priests supported, and there were the followers of Padre Martinez who had their own services. Uh, that split between Lamy and Martinez uh, pro probably set the stage for the rise of the Presbyterian Church in northern New Mexico. The story goes that uh, a church, a Catholic church up north somewhere, had ordered a a bell from some place down in Mexico, some foundry, to make him a, a church bell. And then when they brought it up by wagon train up the uh, Camino Real, and when they got up north, then they couldn't pay for the bell. The, the people couldn't pay for the bell, so they decided to bring it back. And so they brought it back, and when they stopped there at Martinez Town, they found out they, the church people there found out they had a bell, so they offered to buy it. You'd be amazed how many northern New Mexico villages have both a Catholic church and a Hispanic Presbyterian church. I just had to have those two pictures give context to the community. The Presbyterian church with a lowrider, and, and the Catholic Church kind of with the kids in front of that kind of walkway, almost pilgrimage way, that leads us up to the church that rises like a beacon over Martinez Town. Martinez Town was established in, in somewhere around 1850, and it was established as a Protestant village. And it was, it was, it was established by Catholics who came from Old Town, who, uh, had a run-in with a priest over there, and they couldn't get along, so they decided to to leave the uh, to leave Old Town. Not by Presbyterians, and not by Catholics, but by a Protestant, a, a man who genuinely protested the the rules of the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, he did it on the basis of education. Uh, his protest was based in education, and that's why he moved himself and his family to Martinez Town. How do you mean uh, education? He wanted his children to be schooled and to be educated and to be literate. And what's wrong with that? Well, in that, at that point in time, unless you were high-born, you didn't have any business being literate, unless you were high-born or clergy. Your place was not to be literate, and your place was certainly not to read the Bible. This was their ranch. This was actually their ranch on the outskirts of Old Town. Sheep? Mm-hmm. They were sheep herders. Yeah, they had Ezekiel sheep. Right yeah. Mm -hmm. Must have been fertile. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then he started dividing it off by telling relatives, over by that tree you can build a house, and over by the ditch you can have that piece of property and build a house. And it just started to develop that. They had, quite a, they had quite a bit to do with building of the Presbyterian Church, I know that. Yeah. But I don't know what, what came of that. Yeah, because my mother raised us Presbyterian. We were always Presbyterian. Historians of Albuquerque have, have uh, stated that the family moved from Old Town and uh, into the area which we now call Martinez Town to farm and around around sometime after 1800 in the early 1800s. This is me the way I got it okay they were Bible readers and they came the Martins and they came to over here to get away from the church basically what the way I took it is 
they told the Catholic Church to take a flying at a rolling donut, you know, and we'll read it. We can interpret it ourselves. We have a mind. God gave us a mind of our own. Why? You know? why well, what's wrong with reading the Bible? Well, apparently, in those days, the the Bible was read to them by the church, and the church interpreted the Bible. The yeah, layman, right. the layman, couldn't interpret the the Bible because they weren't educated. And apparently, these Martins were hotter than popcorn farts as far as it came to uh, to to. Hey, I got a mind of my own, you know. I recall Martinez Town being looked upon with some suspicion in Old Town because there were so many Protestants in Martinez Town. Uh, but uh, there was also, I think, some, uh, a, a certain amount of social communication between the two. I mean, these were all... How did you see Martinez Town? As a, a, a Hispanic community that was far, far away, way up in the heights, you know. Los Candelarios was another one far, far away from Old Town where I grew up. It was a very small world. <laughs> my family came in way after the Martinez's. Actually, the history of my family is that when, going back in history a little bit, when Ms. Martin Jose came in from Old Town to establish this compound here, he obviously broke away from the church and established the Presbyterian part of the church, uh, Protestant church. Uh, later on, the church recruited Catholics to come in and establish a community adjoining his community so that he would not dominate this part of, 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 of the area, okay? So this is why you have the Catholic Church up here. The Society of Jesus, called the Jesuits, they were uh, in charge of San Felipe de Neri uh, back in 1860 to for about 90 years they were there and they founded these churches in different parts of the uh, city of Albuquerque and namely this one of San Ignacio and St. Ignatius is the patron of, of uh, the Jesuits. that Bishop Lamy's attitude, hostile attitude towards Protestants, was partially at least what inspired the move of, uh, of, of people out of Old Town into Martinez Town, and where I believe... Because when my mother married my father, they almost excommunicated, excommunicated my, my mother's family from the Catholic Church, because she married a Protestant, a Presbyterian. This was known as La Plaza de los Protestantes. <laughs> <laughs>